Yet a judge known for his out-of-the-box thinking crossed the line in how he handed down sentences. Uh, that's what the county's top lawyers uh, charging tonight. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones joins us now with this startling allegation. Ross? Well, among Michigan judges Stephen and Carolyn, Brian McKenzie stands out as one of the most visible. While most shy away from television cameras, McKenzie has welcomed them in. But Oakland County's prosecutor says he has tried to keep hidden, secret, sometimes illegal sentences. And he's been doing it, she says, for at least a decade. In a blistering 238-page complaint, prosecutor Jessica Cooper says Judge Brian McKenzie improperly dismissed or deferred misdemeanor charges where plaintiffs had already pled guilty or no contest, which has the same result as a guilty plea. In one case, a man pled guilty to reckless driving and assault and battery after being charged with driving his car at two individuals and then using a gay slur. But later on, the complaint says McKenzie dismissed the conviction without a prosecutor even present, using the Spousal Abuse Prevention Act to place the man on probation, even though neither of the victims were ever his spouse. In another case, a man was convicted of domestic violence, second offense, after pleading no contest, accused of punching his girlfriend in the back of the head and tearing out several of her hair extensions. According to the prosecutor, McKenzie again used the Spousal Abuse Prevention Act to defer the man's sentence, ultimately sending him to sobriety court instead, and then saying this, the prosecution has agreed to dismiss the charges. This case is dismissed. That's one of the gifts that I have for you. The prosecutor says her office never agreed to dismiss the case. Perhaps most troubling, Cooper's office says that McKenzie tried to hide many of these cases from her office and the public by declaring them as non-public, meaning the files can't be reviewed. McKenzie is said to be traveling today and is not available for comment. Prosecutor Cooper declined an on-camera interview, only saying this by phone, I'm a former member of the judiciary and I don't do this lightly. Now, late today, we did reach McKenzie on his cell phone. He referred us to his lawyer, who had no comment. We went to his court today to see if those cases really were hidden from the public. Indeed, six of the seven cited by the prosecutor are.